Welcome to Lil John's Yarns. Today, we're going to learn how to complete the waffle stitch. If you like videos like these, please don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you're always up to date. Today, we're going to be using, I'm using a 4mm crochet hook. You can use whatever hook you like. This is just what I had laying around. And also, I'm using some worsted weight yarn. Like I said, this is just some scrap yarn. This is, I believe, Caron Simply Soft yarn. So, we'll begin by making a slip knot. This pattern is worked in multiples of 3 plus 4. What that means is um, your beginning chain should be uh, numbers such as 21, 24, 27, or 30, you know, etc., plus 4 more. For this um, swatch, I'm going to do 21, that's a multiple of 3, plus 4 more would be 25. So I'm going to chain 25 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You can pause the video here and I'll meet you at the completion of 25 stitches. Okay, we've completed our 25 stitches. Now we're going to place one double crochet into the second chain from the hook. So one, two. This space here. And complete your double crochet double crochet into the next stitch. We're going to place one double crochet in each stitch all the way across. Alright, you can pause your video here and continue placing one double crochet in each stitch across and I'll meet you at the completion of this row. Okay, we've made it to the end of this row, and we're going to chain one. One. Turn your work. I want you to pay very close attention to my hook placement. It's very easy to place your stitches into the wrong space. So let's begin by placing one double crochet into the very same space. We're going to start placing in our waffle pattern. So, yarn over, we're going to do a front post double crochet. To do that, we're going to be working into the post of your double crochet. That's the um, vertical part of your stitch. So we already yarned over, we're going to go behind your double crochet, like so, and push it forward, and complete your double crochet as normal. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now, we're just going to place one double crochet into the next two double crochets. In order to do that, you yarn over. We're going to place the first double crochet here. Please don't place the double crochet behind your work. We're going to place, place it into the stitch here. So here's your double crochet. You're going to place it to the top and slightly off to the left. So here's your first double crochet. second double crochet. Okay, now we're going to repeat um, the sequence. We're going to place one front double crochet into the next stitch. So yarn over, go behind your post, push it forward, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Once again, we're going to place one double crochet into the next two double crochets. So yarn over, go into the um, space that's to the top and to the left of the previous double crochet. Remember, don't work behind it. It's right here, to the top and to the left. So this is one regular double crochet, and this is two regular double crochets. Place a front post double crochet into the next stitch. Go behind your post, push it forward, and complete your front post double crochet. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Once again, place one double crochet into the top of the next two double crochets. Remember, don't place it behind it, 
that can be confusing, we're going to place it into the stitch right here. So here's your post. So to the top, slightly to the left. That's the space we'll be working in. So to the top and slightly to the left of your stitch. One. And two. Sorry if you think I'm going a little bit slow, but I know this can be really tricky. It was tricky the very first time I learned too. So let's do another front post double crochet. And place one double crochet into the next two double crochets. One. And two. I think you got it. So I want you to continue the sequence all the way across by placing a front post double crochet followed by one front one double crochet into the next two stitches all the way across. I'll meet you at the very end of the row and I'll teach you how to complete the end of this row. Okay we're at the end of the row and we have two stitches left. So I'm going to put the last front post double crochet in push the work forward, complete your front post double crochet, and your last stitch we're just going to put a regular double crochet into it. It's kind of hard to see where it is. There we go, I just work mine into the end. Where it has two loops. See if you can see it. There you go, that's where I work it into. complete your double crochet and we've completed this row and this is what it looks like if you want to help support the work that I do please make sure you click the link above and check out my patreon page I appreciate it very much so let's continue with the very next row we're going to chain one turn your work this sequence is going to be a little bit different as you can see um, now your work is in reverse we have one stitch that's pushed backwards with two stitches push forward one stitch push backward two stitches push forward so that's the pattern we're going to follow also we already chained one so we're going to place a double crochet into the very same space and we're going to place the double crochet into the top of the next double crochet that's pushed backwards and we're going to begin our sequence of three that was the first one now we're going to place one front post double crochet into the next two stitches okay do you remember our front post double crochet from the last row so yarn over go behind your post push your work forward yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two that was your first front post double crochet let's move on to the second front post double crochet push that post forward yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two let's repeat the sequence for this stitch that's pushed back we're going to place one double crochet a normal one into the top once again please don't push um put your hook into the space behind it the stitch is here so to the top slightly to the left that's where you insert your hook so yarn over and place your double crochet into that space now place one front post double crochet into the next two stitches front post double crochet one next stitch front post double crochet two once again place one double crochet into the top of the previous double crochet yarn over remember not behind your work but this stitch right here so here's your um, double crochet the top slightly to the left insert your hook and I'll show you your front post double crochets one more time so we're going to place one front post double crochet into the next two stitches front post double crochet yarn over pull through two 
yarn over, pull through two. Front post double crochet. Okay, we're going to repeat this sequence all the way across by placing one double crochet into the next stitch, followed by one front post double crochet into the next two stitches. You can pause your video here and I'll meet you back at the end of this row and we'll work the last couple stitches together. Okay, we've made it to the end of this row and we have the last two stitches left. We've um, ended the last two stitches where the front post double crochets and these ones we're just going to put one double crochet into each stitch. One and the last one, two. And that's basically it to your waffle pattern. We're just going to repeat this row, row two and three over and over. I'll show you row uh, two one more time. Chain one, turn your work. We're going to double crochet into the very same space. Double crochet. And you can already see how this stitch is being um, pushed forward, so we're going to do a front post double crochet. Now your work pretty much tells you what pattern to repeat as your stitches push out and push back. All right, your stitches are back. So we're going to place one double crochet into the next two stitches. One and two. One front post double crochet. Followed by one double crochet into the next two stitches. Like I said, I'm moving a little bit faster because this is just a recap of what the previous rows were. One, two, front post double crochet. All right, we're going to repeat this pattern all the way across by placing one um, double crochet into the next two stitches, followed by a front post double crochet. Once again, one double crochet into the next two stitches, followed by a front post double crochet. You can pause your video here, and I'll meet you at the end of the row, and we'll work the last two stitches together. We've made it to the end of this row, and we have the last two stitches, so we're going to do a front post double crochet. and place a normal double crochet into the very last stitch. Okay, let's do our uh, third row repeat. <laughs> Chain one. Turn your work. We're going to double crochet into the very same space. Once again, this stitch is pushed backwards, so we're going to place a double crochet into the top of that stitch. We're going to place one front post double crochet into the next two stitches. You can see how they're poked out. Front post double crochet. One. Front post double crochet. Two. Place one double crochet into the top of the next stitch because it's pushed backwards. One. Now place one front post double crochet into the next two stitches, once again, because they're pushed forward. Front post double crochet. One. Front post double crochet into the next stitch. Two. We're going to repeat this pattern all the way across by placing one double crochet into the um, next stitch that's pushed back, followed by one front post double crochet into the next two stitches all the way across. And I'll meet you at the uh, last two stitches so we can work those ones together. Okay, we've made it back to our last two stitches because we completed our front post double crochets. 
So now we're just going to place one double crochet into the next two stitches. One. and two. And here's how it looks so far. You can see how the waffle is starting to work up nicely. And just continue to repeat these rows as many times as necessary to work up the pattern that you're making. This works great on blankets, headbands, washcloths, whatever you can think of. Alright, thank you for joining me on this tutorial. Make sure you click the uh, subscribe button and the notification bell so you're always up to date with what's going on with Little John Yarns. I'll see you all on the very next video.